Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. I was asked to kind of go over my keyser. Um, I'm not going to do a build of one anytime soon, but uh, I was just asked to kind of go over it, uh, things I've did to build it, and um, any tips. So hopefully that's worth something to you. So let's get into it. First thing I can tell you about my keyser is that all the parts on it, except for the refrigerator part, the, uh, the, the freezer itself, everything on here was bought secondhand. Um, all of my Perlick taps are used. They all work great, um, except this one here. This one has the plastic parts. Uh, I don't know what model number it is, but the plastic one, I have a, quite a few issues with it not turning off. Um, so that's the only issue I have with the plastic one. The other ones work great. Love them. Those are all they're all stainless steel. Um, the oh, I guess this isn't used. Uh, the STC one thousand is the temperature gauge I have on here. Um, let's open this thing up. The only thing with doing it with this way is that you have to wire this sucker yourself. Not necessarily a difficult thing to do, but if you're going to have a brand new keyser, the first thing you uh, don't really want to do is cut the power cord and void your warranty. Um, I would suggest, and I would do that in the future if I'm going to do this again, to use one of the other uh, Inkbird uh, temperature controllers, the ones that you just plug in. What else have I got going on in here? Um, oh. I do uh, have this outside in my garage, and being in Wisconsin, it gets damn cold during the winter. So I, uh, I put um, one inch foam insulation all the way around the collar. Uh, that helps keep the temperature from uh, going wacko during the winter. To heat, I use an aquarium, not an aquarium, what am I saying, a reptile uh, heater. It's just basically a bulb. Originally I went that route instead of like a light bulb or a heating unit because I didn't want any uh, light pollution. I was going to use this to ferment in, which I still could. Uh, to regulate temperature, that's here. All I do is I keep the temperature probe in a jar of water. That way uh, it makes lighter, uh, less abrupt temperatures and keeps the kegs at a more constant temp. I've seen lots of people use um, fans and stuff inside their keysers to try to keep the, the moisture down. Um, all I do is, here, I grab, um, I use these little packing things. It's got those little pellets in there that absorb moisture. That's worked great for me. I've never had any, any issues with condensation inside my keyser uh, using those little packets. Um, you know, they usually come with electronics and stuff. Um, or you can buy them, but I just kind of, anytime I get a packet from one of those things, I just throw it in the keyser. Well, that's about it, really. Uh, otherwise, it's all just tubing and your regular, I, I, I don't know, there's nothing really special about the keyser. Uh, if you have any specific questions about a keyser, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, I don't pretend to be an expert on a keyser. I, I built that myself. It wasn't hard. It wasn't difficult to do. Uh, plenty of videos out there showing how to do it. Um, but yeah, I've had it for about two years now and it's worked great. If you, like I said, have any particular questions about it, go ahead and put those in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. That's all I got for you this week. Uh, next week and probably the week after I won't be doing one of these. Uh, next week I do have a surgery scheduled for myself. Uh, so I will not be doing this. Um, but until then, keep brewing my friends.